Ohayo kaseimasu. Ohayo. Ohayo kaseimasu. Hello. Have you ever visited Japan before? A few years ago. I never left a hotel room. He was on concert tour with the Beatles. You have a lovely home. Thank you. The Yasudas have always had very beautiful families. I can see that. It's a pity that Yoko keeps her hair that way. She has a beautiful forehead. You should convince her to put her hair up. <laughs> How does one convince Yoko? Papa, what do you think of John? It might be easier to have opinion if I could see him without all that hair covering his face. What do you think of the person? What do you think of him? I love him. Then I will think well of him. The divorce agreement allowed Yoko free access to Kyoko. Tony's not doing that between Denmark, the Virgin Islands and Mallorca. He's doing his damnedest to keep her away from us. <laughs> Seems he disapproves of our lifestyle. Can you blame him? You're not exactly the Brady Bunch. She's my daughter. Your life's in a fishbowl, Yoko. He's looking at that. For a while there, every time you turned around, the cops were shoving an arrest warrant in your face. One trumped-up pop bust and some infringement on artistic expression, which we won, remember? I'm not a lawyer, but I can tell you that a child custody case can be pure hell. It could drag on for years. In the meanwhile, possession being nine-tenths of the law, Kyoko will be living with Tony. Then maybe it should be us with the possession. What do you mean, take her? Let Tony do the chasing for a while. No, John, we can't do that. It's your daughter, Yoko. You have a right to be with her. <laughs> Yoko! Signor Leno. You do realize, Miss Ono, that you could be charged with kidnapping. Kidnapping? How can I kidnap my own child? This court has no jurisdiction to make a decision on custody. That is for an American court to decide. However, I'm going to allow Kyoko to remain with her father. I spoke to the child in private. That is her choice. She hates me. No. She does, she hates me. No, Yoko. Doesn't mean anything what she did. She's just a little girl. She's old enough. She's not old enough. I know how she feels. I've been in her shoes.
I was just five years old when I first set eyes on my father. He took me to Blackpool for the weekend. Just the two of us. Oh, I had a wonderful time. I was swimming in the ocean, playing in the sand. It was just him. Him and me. Father and son. And before the weekend was done, he was talking to me about living with him in New Zealand. Oh, it sounded great fun to me. Then before I knew it, I was standing between him and my mum and he's putting this choice to me. <laughs> I just chose the one that had given me the recent best time. But my mum went off crying. <laughs> I, I realised what I'd done and I chased after her. So don't you feel Kyoko hates you? And don't you give up on trying to get her back? This is my favorite place. It's nice. I used to live near here. When? 1960. $50.50 a month. <laughs> Cold water. Smoke glass windows you couldn't see out of. But it had a beautiful skylight. I always felt more connected to the sky than to the city. I like it here. May! Hello. Hello, Mr. Clyde. You going in the studio? Sure. You enjoying your new job? Terrific. It's really exciting. Great. How come you never said that when you worked for me? Decline. What do you think, Alan? Is it a bullet to the top of the charts or what? It's a winner. The whole album's gonna be a winner. Imagine Listen, I got some great news. Can you spare me a minute outside? Yeah, sure. So have you heard something from the detectives? Uh, we haven't had any luck so far. They know Tony brought her here from Mallorca, but they can't tell me whether they're still in New York. Oh, well, when can they tell us? My visa's only good for nine months. Don't worry about it. These people are the best. Listen. George is putting together a benefit concert for the victims of Bangladesh. It's good for George. We booked Madison Square Garden for August 1st. And we've got Dylan, Leon Russell, Eric Clapton, and Ringo. How do you feel about appearing? It's for a good cause. Yeah, um, look, I just don't want to give people the impression that the Beatles are getting back together. It's a fantasy and it'll never happen. You'll appear as John Lennon with your own backup. Yoko and I'll be there. The invitation's for you, John. What do you mean? I know what he means. I don't do it. He's even turned down Mick and Joan Baez. I don't give a damn about Mick or Joan Baez!